when I press this green button it starts the water falling using the fill valve as well as the web server fill valve fan is moving and the green indicator in yellow color is also blinking now when we press the stop button the fill valve has stopped the red indicator is moving now both in the electrical panel as well as the web server and fill valve has stopped using the web server green start switch and stop switch we can also control the whole setup hello everyone welcome back to another video on plc tutorial series and this video is going to be something special because in this video we'll be teaching you how we can use web server based control for plc and also we'll integrate factory io like environment where we'll install a water tank and we'll control that water tank uh, parameters from our web server so let's get started in this tutorial we'll first install our setup in factory io and accordingly we'll develop the program in our logosoft compose software and we'll develop our control dashboard from web server using the logo web editor we'll first go to factory io and create a new scene in the new scene now we'll bring in a water tank from this right corner which has palette window click on this it will bring in the component list from here we'll go down and find the water tank so this water tank we will control using a start switch and a stop switch and we will sense the water valve condition in our web server so for that we will need some electrical components let's bring them in this electrical uh, panel box we will install the start switch we will install the stop switch and also to indicate the valve condition we will install two indicator lamp a green indicator a red indicator and also this water tank we need to configure right click on this water tank and from configuration choose digital because for now for this demonstration we'll be just using a start and a stop switch to turn it on and off so these all components will be enough for this demonstration for now we'll go to file and driver here we need to configure the input output pins let's go down to plc list and select your desired plc i am selecting so logo plc now go to configuration and from here you need to configure how much components like input and output pins you need let's take four input four output and word input will be two and word output we don't have any word output for now but let's give it to so this is the uh, pin for now for the start switch we'll choose the v0.0 this v written pins are virtual memory pins stop switch will connect to v0.1 and from the right hand side we'll choose the fill valve for q1 we'll choose the start light for q2 and stop light for q3 if we are using the water tank as digital tank then we will not be having the analog uh, limit sensor and analog fill valve control as we are using it as digital tank that's why we have just the fill valve and discharge valve digital outputs here so now let's configure our plc ladder diagram according to this pin layout now we have come to logos of comfort software from here we will go to file choose a ladder diagram from new we have start switch stop switch and fill valve and two output indicator so for that we will choose the i1 this is our start switch we will bring another pin i2 which will be our stop switch and we'll bring in a latching relay so this 
so this latching relay will have the contacts for our water tank let's connect them i am connecting i1 to set i2 to reset now let's bring in another make contact this make contact is basically for sf001 so connect that and we have our fill valve output coil so let's connect it here now this fill valve whenever i press i1 that is the first input start switch it will set latching relay and the latching relay open contact will be closed and our fill valve will activate at the same time we also want to lead the green light so let's connect it here and whenever this sf0 is not activated we want to turn on the red light so for that reason we'll choose sf00 you can also choose here the q1 also and connect here q3 now let's configure this i1 and i2 these are basically from our network so bring in network input let us uh, once again see the factory io setup the first input is connected to v0.0 stop switch is connected to 0.1 and tank start and stop are connected to q1 q2 and q3 respectively so let's connect them accordingly this first ni1 is v0.0 the second network input let's increase the memory bit 0.1 the start switch will be our first network input ni1 and stop switch will be our second network input ni2 so this is all for the program we can now upload the program to our logos vlc before uploading let me re revise the program once again we have we have two network input ni1 and ni2 and i have assigned these two pins accordingly i have connected the output of latching relay to our q1 which is the field valve motor we have q2 and the third one is the stop light whenever q1 that means the field valve is not activated this nc contact will be normally closed and it will turn on the red light let's upload this program to our logo plc go to network tab from here put your network addresses press ok go back to diagram mode tools transfer pc to logo from here choose your realtek uh, driver and put the right ip address and press ok your plc logo must be connected to your pc using the ethernet for this operation now our program has been uploaded to our logo plc let's configure the web server for this program so for web server design we will need logo web editor once you open the software the interface will look like this from here we need to go to file new project you can give it a name like water tank digital control here you can choose the dimension of your web server i am choosing the lowest one because we have only two switch and two output okay so it will bring an interface like this on the left hand side you have project tab where the web site pages will be available you can add pages here like let's bring in a new page or create login page so this login page will have a login interface let's bring in a login interface here so here you need to put your web server uh, name and you need to put your password how you can choose this password or change this password i will show just later let's go down the home page so this is the login page we have another page once you log in on this page you will be directed to home page now let's design our home page let's put our text first which will be our title of our project i am writing it like digital water tank control from web server 
you can choose the font size from here you can choose whatever size you want if the text is cut out from the box you just need to put it or stretch it now if you want to change the color of the text you can do so by going here text color let's put it in yellow and background color sorry text color is yellow and background color is black and I also want to fill the color so this would be our title of the home page you can play with it and make your own title also you can put a logo here or any image let's bring in an image here so this image could be your institutional pay logo or anything you want let's click on this for now we will bring from here if you click this three dot point from here if you click on this three dot point it will bring a graph library here you can choose uh, several uh, animation or still image from here let's choose a cool illustration from here let's add an rotating world so this will, this is a cool animation you can make your own animation and add here now in the canvas we will bring our start and stop switch so here we have push button let's bring them this will be our start button on the right hand side we need to select v for variable or virtual memory and it is connected to 0.0, .0 pin so it is our virtual memory address uh, let's delete this text and we want to make this uh, switch of green color we can do so by going here and choosing on image click on this from this default folder you will find this green button choose this one for our start switch both in on and off condition you can also give it a name start switch if you want to increase the font size you can go here and choose a bigger font okay let's copy this both switch and text and make our stop switch let's choose this switch go to block type v and change the memory address to 0 0.1 go for this on image choose the red button and also for this off image we will be choosing red button okay now we have three output the first one is our valve fill valve we can bring the status of fill valve by this switch button let's say this is our fill valve which is the motor basically and we need to choose q for this one and our motor is connected fill valve is connected to q1 let's delete the text suppose for on image we will put a fixed uh, fan image and when it is on it will be a moving animation we can find such animation from here here you can see we have two types of image one is still picture ventilation and another is moving ventilation so for on image when it is on we'll choose the move moving one and when it is off we'll choose the still one so this will give an effect that whenever the fill valve is off it will be still image and when the fill valve is on it will be a moving image so this is a cool animation effect for showing the status of our motor or fill valve we have two more output start green indicator and red indicator 
so for that we'll need again switch button choose the block type to Q and this is our green light indicator choose Q2 for this delete the text from here now we'll also put some animation for this to give some animation we'll go to on image from here we can go up and look for something we have mm, star indicator or green indicator one is still and one is moving so for on image we'll choose this yellow moving light and for off image we'll choose the still yellow light so this will give an effect whenever the motor is on it will blink and whenever it is off it will be a still picture we can also put a text here green indicator you can make it a little bit bigger okay let's select both of this and copy and paste choose this one and change the block type to q3 block number and it is our stop indicator or red indicator for this we'll again choose something in red when it is on we'll choose this flashing red and when it is off we'll choose this still red okay so let us uh, give it a recheck again this one is our start switch with v0.0 this one is our stop switch with v0.1 this is our output with q1 this is our output with q2 and this is q3 we can put a text for this also this is our fill valve now if you think your programming and designing is done you can upload this file to your logo plc but remember that when you are uploading this program to logo plc you must have a sd card installed on your logo plc because without sd card it will not work here on the right top corner we have a sd card slot for your logo plc if you open this slot you will find that a dedicated slot for sd card insertion here you can insert your standard SD card memory in this slot to hold the web server program as well as your PLC program. So this is the slot where you will be looking for your SD card. Without this SD card you cannot upload the web server program into your logo PLC. So let's go here it is saying download. So let's press this. You need to put your correct IP address and choose Realtek driver. Then press OK. The program is getting uploaded to our logo PLC. If you have multiple interface for your web server application, you can do so and you can add more pages like this one and upload this sort of design to your plc now the task of this logo web editor is done we'll minimize it to access the web server we need to open any browser and from here you need to put the ip address of your logo plc and at the end you need to add this portion 8080 now let's press ok here you will find a login page here you need to put your name and password where you can find this password let me show you when you are doing your plc program in ladder diagram you have a diagram like this for me i have circuit diagram 2 right click on this and go to properties such logo setting will appear from here go for online setting connect with your plc and if you go for access control setting you will find window like this from here you need to check these options 
allow logo app access allow web server access and control operation from logo td as we do not have logo td for now allowing web server access is sufficient for now and here you can put your password and apply so i have put my ad password here and applied it earlier so that password you will need to put here i am putting my password and you need to tick this option to customize site if you do not tick this option it will be the default web server of logo plc but if you tick this one it will redirect you your design web server so press on this logon now you can see our designed web server is here let us connect this web server with our factory io environment so here's the demonstration of our project on the left hand side we have the web server and on the right hand side we have the factory io setup here you can see in the control access panel already the led indicator is on because our motor is off similarly on the web server you can see that our fill valve or motor is off that is why our red indicator is blinking we can now start the motor by pressing this start switch and you can see our tank has started filling the water as well as on the web server the motor starting operation is showing using an animation as well as the green indicator that is yellow in color is blinking that means it is on we can stop this by pressing this stop switch the water tank has stopped filling water motor has stopped and the fill valve is also in stop mode we can also start the motor from web server also let's press this whenever i have pressed this green button you can see the factory io has started we can also stop it from web server and you can see the motor has stopped so simultaneously we can use this factory io control to operate this setup as well as this web server based control so this sort of uh, design and this sort of platform can help us to remotely control our setup wh whether it is factory io or in real setups condition or real hardware implementation we can use such web server based control for controlling and monitoring our applications so this was a brief demonstration of using web server for plc uh, logo application using factory io in upcoming video we'll be covering more advanced project like this to keep updated on this sort of content please subscribe to our channel and you can also follow our facebook page for upcoming videos so see you soon thank you take care Tata.